and welcome. My name is Nicole, and this is a 15-minute no frills strength flow. <laughs> um, so we'll just be we'll be doing a lot of holding poses. Not gonna be doing a lot of complicated poses. So we only got 15 minutes, so we have to get right on in there and get going. So speaking of, let's go ahead and begin standing at the top of our mat. All right, from standing, you can have your feet and your hips or you can have your feet together. However you decide, root down firmly, lift those toes, root down for all four corners of your feet. Go ahead and put those toes back down. Bend down, touch the ground, inhale, chair. Just take a moment here to really extend the arms up and out, squeezing the legs together, pulling in through the core, breathing deeply. Just keeping at it. And then go ahead and bring your hands to prayer at your heart center. Breathe in. And then reach the right arm behind. Twist open to the right. Inhale. Through center. Prayer up. And then exhale. Twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Come back, lift high, lift up, and then come up, fold over. Inhale, halfway look up. And fold once more. Take a moment here. Breathe. And then inhale, halfway, look up, pull length into your spine, and step back into plank pose. All right, in plank, wrists are under shoulders, pressing down firmly, lifting out of my shoulders. <laughs> I really just need a little poof in the back of my heart so I'm not sinking in the back of my heart. Stay lifted. Breathing. You can always drop the knees if you need to. Just keep breathing. You can do it. for a moment if you have them lifted take a breath in and out and we're gonna do a little forearm stand now so come down onto your forearms elbows under shoulders you can have your hands interlaced or out and then when you're ready <clears throat> extend one leg out behind you and then the other one same thing here, a little poof in the back of the heart, pulling up through the core, pressing down firmly through my forearms. It's very strong. Breathing. And we shift forward and backward. And lower all the way down. Beautiful work. So we've got our legs with some chair. Just did some core work. Let's get into our backs. So pull some length into your low back first. Little sphinx pose. Pull and roll the shoulders up and onto your back. Maybe lift one leg, get a little extra length. One other one. Same thing. And then sphinx. Not sphinx. 
That's what we're just doing. Locust. So palms face up. Checking the shoulders. They've kind of kind of gone pitching forward. So I'm going to re-roll them up onto my back. Lift and breathe. Really extend the arms back. Toes to. Keep breathing. And then lower. Take a moment. Take a deep breath in. And out. And we're going to Superman it now. So uh, karate chop out in front of you. Press down. Roll those shoulders up onto your back. Lift. <laughs> Fly. Breathe. Really extend the feet and the toes or the toes and the fingers. Oh, good Lord. Away from one another. Oh, and then lower. Breathe. Go ahead and bring your hands under your shoulders. Lift up on all fours. And draw your wrists on your shoulders once more. Knees under your hips and extend your right and your left leg, opposing arm and leg out from one another very strongly. And then exhale, curl in, cat in. Next, hell, extend, cow out. Curling and extending. You can always just pause and balance at any one of these here or here. However you're working is beautiful. And then reach around, grab, and extend. Square your chest back forward. If you came undone to grab your leg, kick the foot into the hand and resist the hand into the foot and release. We're gonna switch sides. So now extend your left and your right. Really extend, breathe. And then curl in and extend out. In and out. And bend the back leg, reach around, grab the inside of the foot and kick up and try to keep your Chest squared forward. Anyways, I have a tendency to hyper on my elbow, so try to keep a little bend in it. It'll just encourage more strength. And then release. Separate the knees. Exhale back in a child's pose, dropping the forehead to the earth. Breathing. And then go ahead and come on up. Shift the hips and come around. Come on to your back. And draw your right knee in to your right armpit. Extend the left leg onto the floor. Breathe in. And out. Now draw the knee over to your left armpit. Breathe in. And out. And extend the right arm and continue to draw that knee across the body into a twist. 
maybe looking over your right shoulder at that right hand. And breathing, relaxing. And come back to center. Stretch that right leg out onto the floor. Draw your left knee in now to your left armpit. Breathe in and out. And draw it now towards your right armpit. Maybe extend your left arm out on, on the floor and then continue to draw that right knee across the body for a little twist. Just breathing in. And out. And then come back to center. Draw the knees and in now. Grab for the outside edges of your feet and draw your knees down on the outside of your torso for happy baby. Roll around if that feels nice. And when you're ready, release those legs out onto the floor. Palms open up. Just take a moment to integrate your practice in this final relaxation pose. Please feel free to make it your own so that you're as comfortable as possible. So that your knees knocked in, pillow under your knees. Please stay where you're at and I will sit and hold space for the next moment and then I will guide you out. If you'd like to stay, go ahead and stay. But if you're coming out, go ahead and roll to your right side. And use your hands to push, your, push yourself back up to a seated position. I hope you feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more awake. Uh, let me know. I always love to hear from you all. So namaste until next time.